Okay. Um, so I think um, yeah, the party has zoned the Senate president to the northeast and the speaker to the southwest. And I think during the negotiation, the deputy speaker now comes up from the north central. We look at the trend of the election in Nigeria this time that voted President Barry into office. It's mainly produced by four zones. The northwest, with about 6 million votes. Northeast, with about 2.7 million votes. Uh, north central, with 2.2 million votes. And south was about 2 million votes. So if you look at it in the system, that these four zones delivered the president. And I think whatever the case, in the next 2023, you find that the election of 2023, President Bari will not be there. And the votes to now at 2019 are mainly because of Bari's factor. We have seen it where we have won election, a landslide in, in, in the president election. But in the governor's election, we were not able to, we had to struggle to win election. So therefore, we have to now consolidate, assist those states that we had the more votes. You know, where you are strong, you have, you have to consolidate those areas. So I'm saying that if we can now give Northeast, the vice, the, the Senate president, with 2.7 million votes, you give Southwest with 2 million votes as speaker, which I have no objection with that, I'm comfortable, and Bajam Miller is winning. And then in consolidation, you also have North Central with the deputy speaker. I can't see any reason why Northwest with 6 million votes, with 20 senators out of 21 senators. I mean, in those categories, why should Northwest be side by side line? If you are saying Northwest has a president, fine. The Southwest has a vice president, and we have a speaker. So we have to consolidate areas where we're able to perform. That's one. Yeah, yeah. So, and you're saying that right you are the best man to if be the talking, best. If, you are if, if, I can, if, I, if I heard you uh, cl clearly, and you're saying that you are the best man for the deputy senate president. Yeah, I can give you more reasons to that effect. One, as a ranking senator, this is, this is my fourth time in the Senate. I was elected first, second, third, and fourth. So therefore, if, since we respect ranking in the Senate, ranking is also a priority in the Senate. So at this time now, it's only me and Ahmed alone, I think the most ranking senators in the present, in the 2019, in the ninth Senate, sorry, in the ninth Senate. Then if you talk of issue of former governor, I've been a former governor. In the Senate, we are the three former governors who are most ranking, myself, Shabu Lai and Shogun Oshoba, sorry, and um, Bukhara Abu Ibrahim. All the two have left, they are not coming back in 2019, in the ninth Senate. So I'm the one coming back. So I'm the senior most ranking governor former governor in the Senate. So therefore, those experiences are there. I've been chair of I've recently elected, last two years, I've been elected vice president of Interparliamentary Union, which is a body of international body, and I was elected in Geneva. I'm still now serving as its vice president of Interparliamentary Union. I'm a chair of works committee, which I've toured more than 33 states out of 36 states in the Federation. I've contributed a lot in the Senate. I've produced so many bills in the Senate, like the uh, no uh, Senator Kaya, because 